In this video, I am going to explain how Trump's second presidency could affect your money, investments, and the overall economy. Whether you're an investor, business owner, or just someone trying to manage your finances, understanding these changes is crucial for your financial future. Let's dive in. Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. I am Iggy here, and I've been covering topics such as stocks, finance, CPF, and basically everything related to growing your wealth. The Investing Iguana is featured and ranked 8th in the 2023 Influential Tigers by Tiger Brokers with over 800,000 reads. I've also covered over 500 videos and over 250,000 watch hours as of September 2024. The U.S. economy shows strong signs of recovery in late 2024, with the annual inflation rate dropping to 2.4% from its peak of 9.1% in June 2022. This cooling trend brings the economy closer to the Federal Reserve's target of 2%, while the labor market stays stable with a national unemployment rate of 4.0%. These numbers paint a picture of economic stability, though challenges remain. Financial markets have shown excitement over recent political changes, with the Dow Jones Industrial Average jumping by more than 1,500 points and both the S&P 500 and NASDAQ climbing more than 2%. The cryptocurrency market has also seen gains, with Bitcoin reaching new highs of 75,345. The banking sector stands out as particularly strong, with major institutions recording significant gains. Despite these positive indicators, many Americans still feel financial pressure. The gap between wage growth and price increases tells an important story. While wages grew by 17.4% from January 2021 to June 2024, prices went up by 20%. This difference has left many households feeling the pinch, with nearly half of voters saying they're worse off financially than they were four years ago. Regional differences in economic health persist, with some states enjoying low unemployment rates while others continue to struggle with higher rates. The Federal Reserve is poised to make a significant move this Thursday by cutting interest rates for the second time in 2024. The central bank plans to reduce rates by a quarter percentage point, which would bring the federal funds rate down to a range of 4.5% to 4.75%. This follows their larger half-point cut in September, which marked the first reduction in over four years. The timing of this rate cut comes at a delicate moment, just days after Trump's election victory. The Fed's decision reflects improving economic conditions, with inflation cooling to 2.1%, nearly reaching their 2% target. However, the economic landscape could shift under Trump's proposed policies, his campaign promises of tax cuts, increased tariffs, and stricter immigration policies are expected by economists to potentially fuel inflation, which might complicate the Fed's plans for future rate cuts. The Fed's gradual approach to rate cuts aims to support economic growth while avoiding any rekindling of inflation. Chair Jerome Powell and his colleagues have signaled they expect to continue reducing rates through 2025, though the pace might need adjustment based on economic data and policy changes. For everyday Americans, these rate cuts should eventually lead to lower borrowing costs on everything from mortgages to car loans, though the immediate impact of this single cut will be modest. The Fed faces a complex balancing act, maintaining economic stability while adapting to potential policy shifts under the incoming administration. Let's break down the key elements of Trump's economic plan and what they mean for your wallet, tax reforms, and your money. Trump plans to extend the 2017 tax cuts and introduce new ones. He's proposing to eliminate federal taxes on tipped income and Social Security benefits. Wells Fargo economists project these cuts could accelerate economic growth in 2026 and 2027. For investors, this could mean stronger corporate profits and potentially higher stock market returns. Trade policies and consumer prices. The proposed 10-20% tariff on all imports could significantly impact your daily expenses. Pantheon Macroeconomics estimates that a 10% tariff alone could raise inflation by 0.5 percentage points. This means everything from electronics to clothing could become more expensive. Immigration and Labor Market Impact Trump's immigration policies could create a significant shift in the labor market. With plans for mass deportations and stricter immigration controls, businesses might face higher labor costs. The Brookings Institution suggests this could lead to wage inflation, but might also slow economic growth as companies struggle to find workers. Government Debt and Interest Rates Here's a number that might surprise you. The Committee for a Responsible Federal Budget Projects, 
Trump's fiscal policies could add $7.75 trillion to the national debt over the next decade. This could push bond yields higher, affecting everything from mortgage rates to business loans. The financial markets have responded dramatically to Trump's electoral victory, with both traditional and digital assets showing significant movement. The stock market displayed strong enthusiasm, with the Dow Jones Industrial Average surging more than 1,500 points and the S&P 500 climbing over 2%. This rally reflects investor confidence in Trump's business-friendly policies and promises of tax cuts, though some economists warn these policies could fuel inflation. The cryptocurrency sector has emerged as a particularly notable winner, with Bitcoin reaching an all-time high of $75,345. This surge comes as Trump has shifted from his previous skepticism to become a strong advocate for digital currencies, promising to establish a strategic Bitcoin reserve and transform America into a global crypto hub. The enthusiasm has spread across the crypto market, lifting other digital currencies like Ethereum and Dogecoin, while crypto-related companies like Coinbase have seen their stock prices soar by double digits. However, the bond market is signaling some caution, with yields showing volatility as investors weigh the potential inflationary impact of Trump's proposed policies. His campaign promises of increased tariffs, immigration restrictions, and extensive tax cuts could put upward pressure on prices at a time when inflation has only recently cooled to near the Federal Reserve's target. The banking sector has responded positively to the prospect of lighter regulation, with major institutions like J.P. Morgan seeing significant gains, though some market analysts caution that the full economic implications of these policy shifts will take time to materialize. The current economic landscape calls for a thoughtful approach to investment strategy, particularly given the complex interplay of proposed policy changes. The combination of Trump's promised tax cuts and increased tariffs is likely to create distinct advantages for some sectors while challenging others. Companies focused primarily on domestic markets, especially in manufacturing and energy, could see significant benefits from reduced corporate tax rates and protective tariffs. However, multinational corporations and businesses heavily reliant on global supply chains might face increased costs and operational challenges. The relationship between monetary and fiscal policy adds another layer of complexity to the investment environment. The potential tension between Trump and Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell, whose term continues until 2026, could introduce additional market uncertainty. Trump's previous criticism of Fed policies and his stated intention to influence monetary decisions marks a departure from the traditional independence of the central bank. This dynamic becomes particularly significant as the Fed navigates the delicate balance between controlling inflation and supporting economic growth through interest rate decisions. For investors, these factors underscore the importance of building a well-balanced portfolio that can weather various economic scenarios. A diversification strategy might include a mix of domestic-focused companies that could benefit from tax cuts, defensive sectors that typically perform well during periods of uncertainty, and alternative investments like real estate or precious metals that can serve as inflation hedges. Small cap stocks might offer opportunities as they tend to benefit more from domestic focused policies, while bonds and dividend paying stocks could provide stability during periods of market volatility. The technology sector, particularly companies involved in artificial intelligence and domestic manufacturing, might also present growth opportunities as businesses adapt to potential reshoring initiatives and trade restrictions. If you found this analysis helpful, you'll definitely want to check out my upcoming video on Top Fund Managers Fed Cut Predictions Unveiled, where I'll dive deeper into expert forecasts for interest rates. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to stay updated on how these economic changes could affect your financial future. Remember, understanding these shifts isn't just about making money, it's about protecting and growing your wealth in changing time.